It's a city of contradictions, where office workers and endangered rhinos live side by side. Africa's largest slum next to towering skyscrapers and down below is the roaring sound of traffic. In a city of four million where most people don't own a car, the car is king and the king is slow moving. There's a lot of pollution. I lose a lot of man hours driving. So uh, it's really frustrating. It's really frustrating. And then I, 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 it's, it's, it's tiresome uh, staying on the road for so long, even on very short distances. The government believes traffic congestion costs a billion dollars a year in lost productivity in Nairobi. The county government has tried to propose a number of measures like keeping vehicles outside CBD. You know, the challenge is infrastructure. Not enough roads, too many cars. Most are highly polluting second-hand vehicles imported from Asia. To make them more fuel efficient, most mechanics remove a device called the catalytic converter designed to reduce exhaust emissions. Dumped in landfills, environmentalists say the metal is toxic. Without it, car fumes are heavy with lead. And so these cars' exhaust burn the eyes, leaving pedestrians gasping for air. We're hours away from evening rush hour traffic and already a thick smog is developing over the city skyline. Not only is the air pollution double the amount recommended by the World Health Organization, half of the carbon emission that this country emits comes from traffic and car pollution. Pollution levels fell for a brief moment in September when protesters calling for climate justice halted traffic. We want people to begin to implement policies that are sustainable in nature, um, shift from fossil fuels, promote renewable energy. And electric motorbikes could help too, such as these built by a small company owned and run by Dutch and Kenyan businessmen. Electric is the future. We're going to go emissions free. That is very clear and that is something that we want to be front runners in. With electric vehicles comes the need for power, something Kenya's government is addressing by wanting to build a coal power plant. Kenya's environment agency says it will make the air in Nairobi more breathable. Yet another of the many contradictions to Kenya's capital. And so until a solution is found, commuters will just have to sit and wait. Nicholas Hawk, Al Jazeera, Nairobi.